Hey guys, it's Ashley with 3R Sales and Service. We're taking a look at a 5x8 Blizzard package today. It's a single axle enclosed trailer. Uh, we use the 3,500 pound axle trailers. They do have a 2990 gross vehicle weight rating, uh, which means that's how much you can tow with it full. Um, but the axle itself will hold 3,500 pounds. The uh, package includes a five and a half gallon pressure washer and a seven uh, gallon per minute soft wash system. So we'll start up front here and kind of go over the details and then we'll move around back and show you the rest of the trailer. So we have 200 feet of soft wash hose, 200 feet of pressure washer hose and 100 foot of the three quarter inch um, garden hose at the bottom. The garden hose feeds the 55 gallon water tank that's behind it here. Um, all three of these reels are the Titan aluminum reels, and we have the stainless steel stack brackets holding those together. Um, we use uh, the stainless manifolds on them as well, so that they're more corrosion resistant to bleach. And then we've got the locking connections in the front just to kind of make it look a little bit nicer, more organized. And uh, on the pressure washer reel, we put the nozzles in just so that it's easier to find them. You don't have to go back to the pressure washer every time you need them. You can just grab them right off of the hose reel. Uh, we have some hoses up front here because whenever we're building these, we try to keep all of the hoses on the exterior uh, walls of the trailer just so um, they're not in the middle of the aisleways. You're not tripping over anything and you can store more items in there uh, with more available floor space. So we'll move around back. The trailers we like to use have either single or double doors. This one has a double door uh, system on it and then we have LED lights. Um, the double doors are nice versus the ramp door. The ramp door takes up a lot more space. Um, and also, whenever you're standing up here on your ramp door, you just have to kind of bend down further in order to start your equipment uh, or anything like that. So we just like the double door option. Uh, the pressure washer is 3,000 PSI, five and a half gallon per minute. This unit is electric start. Uh, so you just reach in right here and the key starts available just within arm's reach. Uh, the exhaust just blows right out the rear door, so you just have to make sure you have your doors open whenever you're using this system. Um, it does have a pull cord on it still, so if for any reason the battery died and you're not able to key start it, you can still pull start it in order to fire up your system. And then your engine will charge that battery so you can use the electric start either later that day or the following day. The soft wash system is just to the side here. It's 100 PSI, 7 gallon per minute. Um, we have our 12 volt powered pump here, and that is powered by the deep cycle battery down below. In order to charge that battery, we do include the NOCO charger. Um, and what that charger is, it, also, it charges the battery, but it can also maintain it. So if it's gonna be a while before you use the system or you have it in storage, you can plug it in and it just works as a battery maintainer. Um, but it is chargeable from the exterior of the trailer. We have a port right here that you just plug 115 volt outlet into and you can charge it while the trailer is completely closed up and locked up. Uh, so back to the soft wash, we have our pump, we have our accumulator, and then we have our metering system. The metering system will meter your water, your surfactant, and your bleach. And the nice thing about this particular metering system is it's got the sticker that reflects the concentrate of bleach that you're using and applying. So for example, if you have 12 and percent bleach in there, which is what we assume you're using, uh, when you have your dial pointed at the number two, that means you're applying 2% concentrate onto the surface and so on. And that's assuming that you have your water valve all the way open, which is how you're gonna be using the system majority of the time. We do a complete training, so you'll be comfortable on how to use it before you leave. Um, the tanks that we have below, we have our seven gallon surfactant tank. We have our seven gallon um, additional soap tank, which can either be used through this, uh, the soft wash if you added the additional soap valve, or it can be downstream through your soap injector. The soap injector is used with the pressure washer, so it's how you apply soap through the pressure washer system. Then we have our 55 gallon bleach tank closest to us, and then on the far side is our 55 gallon water tank. So there's not really too much of a reason why you gotta climb in there to do anything. We have our water hose, the garden hose that feeds the water tank. And then we've got our, um, our bleach tank. We use the soft wash system as a transfer pump so that you can actually just transfer your fluids into there and you're not constantly going in and out and filling with one gallon containers. You can have a bulk set up out here and then just transfer your fluids, just making it nice and just quick and easy. Um, when it comes to uh, the soft wash system itself, when you're using it, um, in order for us to use that downstream or that uh, the transfer pump 
system, we have a dipstick on there. So the dipstick will either be in your bleach tank when you're ready to apply bleach or you drop it into your water tank when you're ready to rinse out. Um, there's a few different ways we can do that. We have options for customizing if you'd like to change that as well. Um, for the pressure washer system, we'll kind of go over that a little bit more. Um, the soap injector for the pressure washer is adjustable. So you can open that up and pull up to 20% solution. So it's 20% solution, 80% water. Um, or you can completely close it off and use low pressure nozzles with your pressure washer in order to soft wash with your pressure washer. So you can do a low pressure rinse on a house while someone else is using the soft wash system to clean the roof. So all kinds of different ways we can use this, have two people using it at the same time if you'd like. The uh, pressure washer also has a cool bypass system. So the cool bypass allows you to uh, use the pressure washer and then whenever you need to set the trigger gun down or you have to talk to a customer, answer a phone call, something like that, you can just set that trigger gun down and it'll cycle nice cool water from the tank to your pump head um, preventing it from overheating as long as you've got water in your water tank. Um, typically, when you don't have a system with a cool bypass set up to a water tank, you have maybe a minute or two before it starts to get too hot and it can overheat and damage the seals in your pump. So it's just a nice way to protect it. You know, if you're two or 300 feet away from your system, you not have to run back every single time to shut it off. Um, otherwise, we have a couple of hooks on the wall here. Uh, to uh, just to hang the any accessories that you have your wands that you have there's room for a surface cleaner if you want to add a surface cleaner in here we'll typically put that in between either the hose reels in the machine or all the way up in the front nose um, the walls have been painted we like to paint them it brightens it up it gives a little bit of a moisture barrier to the system as well and then on the bottom we have our protective flooring so we lay that protective flooring um, it, it's resistant against the fuel chemicals uh, water of course all kinds of things we caulk all the way around it we trim it with aluminum so it's nice and secure in there and it'll help protect that uh, that trailer for a much longer period of time um, so if you have any questions on the system, we have plenty of details on our website. There's lots of other videos of other Blizzard packages we've done or customized in the past. Um, so, I, you know, check out our YouTube, just type in Blizzard uh, on our channel and you'll see all different packages that we've built just like this. Um, or if you have any other questions, you want to see if there's anything else we can do, just give us a call. Thank you.